Hey guys, Charles here, aka the God of SEO, and welcome to my presentation on private blog networks. As I know a lot of you have been asking me a free and ton of questions about them, so I thought I'd do a uh, presentation on it and, and how you can, how I do private blog networks and how I build them anyway. Um, it's something that I think is getting way over overthought at the moment, and people are really struggling with with what they think is the right way to do private blog networks. So I thought I'd do a kind of full stop presentation on how to do them. This is purely my my take. It's not, you know, maybe not the right take or anyone else's take, but it, it's it's my take. Uh, sorry for the quality of the microphone. I'm currently in the UK, so I don't have my uh, my Blue Snow microphone. Um, so I, I'm having to use my laptop microphone at the moment. Uh, so first off, what is a PBN? Uh, a PBN or a private blog network is a network of websites that run blogging based CMSs or content management systems that are then used for links. And there's an example, you have your money site, which is your main website, which has a ton of PBN sites that all link to it that you control and you own. Now you can buy PBN links from other people's uh, blog networks, though if you're buying them off forums that are publicly available, they're not private blog network links, they're public blog network links because they're publicly available. So how do I measure domains? I measure it pretty much in this list. So I look at the age first. If it's an expired domain, then I tend to not really like them because I prefer going with age domain. So Namecheap Marketplace offers brand new age domains um, that people are selling, as well as vendors do them as well. Though I will sometimes use a technique that I'll follow up on later on. Then I look at the trust flow, then the solution flow, then the page rank, then the PA, and then the DA of that specific domain. I'll also look with Ahrefs at the entire link profile so I can have a look if there's any inner pages that I can use to then 301 at my other pages or as specific post pages to gain even more link juice. Where do I find these domains? Don't buy them from public auction sites, don't buy them from public places. Basically don't buy them from anywhere where Google can find and then devalue or de-index those domains because that's a really stupid idea. If you've gone and bought, you know, a hundred sites off of off of GoDaddy auctions within the last month, then obviously Google can just look where those sites have come from without even having to look at the sites themselves. You can have a look at my how to buy domains tutorial at the link below and you can also, uh, I'll link to that in the YouTube description and in the and in the resources box down below on my post page as well. Niche relevancy, this is something that really annoys me because a lot of people get niche relevancy and use it as a technique to, and this is a quote from Alex Becker, um, use it as it will double your power. It doesn't double your power, it just basically protects you against manual reviewers. And if you're building a spammy site or a churn and burn site, whatever, you don't need niche relevant domains. It's just, or niche relevant sites in itself. It's just purely so that if someone manually reviews your site, then you aren't gonna get completely destroyed because it looks at least niche relevant and it should be linking to your site rather than it shouldn't. It's just purely to stop you from getting manually reviewed and de-indexed manually. It has nothing to do with the algorithm whatsoever. Footprints. Footprints are something that has been brought up a ton over the last few months and people have been really worried about them and people have been really, really worried about the overall steps that people have been taking and Google have been taking. And this is an example of AngloRank, which got absolutely destroyed just a few weeks after it launched because they put a load of footprints together. And uh, on the left here, you have a AngloRank site. And on the right, you have one of Pompano's sites, who's my partner in Black Hat community. And he's also an admin in my Facebook group. Um, you can pretty much see the difference. One's got pretty much nothing on it apart from a default WordPress theme, and the other's got ads, has filler content, has featured images, has you know recent posts, has specific categories, has latest stories, has widgets, has navigation bars, all that kind of stuff. It, it looks like a genuine, legit site, and then he uses that to link back to his other sites. It's a really good site to do. Um, instead of building your sites specifically for your networks or for specifically to gain links from them, how about you, you know, you actually build a site first, um, you know, use premium themes, use different CMSs, input ads from different ad accounts, put in uh, filler content so that it looks legit, you know, maybe once every, if you're building a really high quality PBN, then I suggest once every, you know, five posts sticking in um, links, sticking in posts that don't have links in them, or the opposite around, once, one every five posts, you put links in them. So, so you want a bunch of filler content that if Google go manually review the site, you haven't just got a bunch of links to sites that are not very authoritative within your niche. Um, you want sites that look like they're the 
the, the legit thing. Which one do you reckon will get manually reviewed first and de-indexed first if Google, if a Google manually review team go and look at this? I'm guessing it's going to be the one on the left, right? The one on the right looks really legit and looks like a legit micro money, money site and looks like a legit site that you can get links from. Hosting, yes, again, something that's another footprint that people seem to be thinking of. It's it really doesn't matter. Um, if you're using, if you're building a really strong authoritative PBM, then I highly suggest you go with unique and good hosts for every different site. So you want a different one for all your different sites. So you, you don't have to use a different account for every site. So you want unique IPs. Um, I'll give you a list there: Hostgator, to Hawkhost, GoDaddy, Namecheap, One Three Edge, Rackspace, etc., etc., etc. The list is huge. Um, you know, you don't have to go with the massive accounts. You can go with maybe $2 a month accounts, $5 a month accounts. It's going to add up when you have a, you know, 100 site PVN, but it's also going to make your site a lot more secure versus Google manually reviewing them and seeing that they're all coming from the exact same IP address. If you're running a cheap PVN, then I highly suggest you go with SEO hosting. Um, I suggest Skynet and Rank First. Those two are pretty good and I've used them before. There's also a bunch more that I've linked to in my uh, Facebook group that you can have a look at as well. If you're going with a spammy, spammy PBM, you want to go with cheap web hosting, cheap SEO hosting, sorry, and a bunch of free hosts. This just basically means that you can build sites really quickly and for very, very efficiently. Dollar SEO hosting offers like 10 dedicated IPs for $2.50. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's it's really easy to go with, and I suggest going with really cheap stuff if you're just building your PBM purely to spam Google. Footprints, uh, another one which is CMSs. Um, again, if you're going with a really strong authoritative PVN, you want multiple CMSs, you want premium designs, you want you know custom widgets put in them, you want all sorts of things so it looks like a genuinely legit site, as I mentioned earlier with the site from Pompano's network compared to the one from the AngularRank network. Uh, if you want to go with a cheap PVN, uh, you just want whatever your service allows. So if you're using RankWise, that has like 25 different CMSs. Infinite WP is purely WordPress, so you just want to go with that. Um, and then if you're going with a spammy PBN, if you're going with a spammy PBN and you just want purely to do it really cheap, just go with WordPress because then you can use main WP for free. Content-wise, you want to again strong authoritative PBN, handwritten articles, manually inserted links, and a bunch of filler content so that Google looks like it's a really legit website. Cheap PBNs, I use I write to hand spun articles because you can get really good ones for like $20 and it'll have a bunch of uh, spin tags so you can use that across a 10, 20, 30 site network. For a spammy, spammy PBN, you want to go with automated spun, spun content. I use the word a uh, Turing spinner because at least then it's semi-readable. Um, you don't want to go with the, you know, spin rewrite or chimp rewrite to those kind of things. They're not very... They're not very good. Um, and also there's a bunch of free spinners out there that aren't good either. Word Ale Turing Spinner may be a bit expensive, but it's really good. And it's one of the only things that I suggest paying for when you're using a PBN like this, especially if it's a spammy PBN. So don't overthink it, that's the entire thing. It's not technical, it's not difficult. It's just, as everything with SEO, you wanna test what works for you and what works overall. SEO is all about testing, and that's why I think a lot of people are scared of it because they, they think they're going to go and lose a bunch of money when in actual fact you can buy some $10 domains, maybe build some links at them, use some different kind of uh, CMSs that are free, um, you know, just general testing. It doesn't have to cost you a fortune. You don't have to go and buy one of Alex Becker's $4,000 courses or whatever. It's purely for testing purposes. You don't need to overthink it whatsoever. Thanks for watching. I'm Charles Float, aka The God of SEO. You can join my Facebook group at bit.ly slash pbn hyphen group. You can also follow me on Twitter at Charles underscore SEO and on Facebook, God of SEO Co. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my blog, godofseo.ca, and I hope you enjoyed my post. Thanks.